Botai. Yeah, right now we're in the Botanical Garden in Medellin. Aaron, where are you from? Upstate New York. Okay, New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how far was it for you to get here to Colombia? How long? Well, did it I take? came from Florida because I ah, lived there okay. part time. So okay. I, it's so it was, pretty easy. Very easy. Quick. Yes. It's quicker to get from Florida to Colombia than it is to get back to New York. Yeah. So. Yeah. And first time Colombia for you, first time South America, first time, first South time America. Medellin, yes. first time everything. First time and not the last. <laughs> okay, yes. not the last. Okay. Right. So you're enjoying it? Yes, very much. Okay, did you expect it like that when you before you arrived? I kind of did, Yeah. because I researched it quite a bit, so, and I watched a lot, of, and I went to the seminar. And, uh, ah, you went to the sen seminar. I went to the oh, seminar, okay. and I believed what they said, so yeah. it was all true. And so you didn't meet John Adams on the seminar? But, but, ah, you met Bud. Okay, yes. perfect. And you went to the seminar where? In New York. In New York. Yes. Okay. How long ago was it? That was about maybe five months ago. Okay. Five or six months ago. And what made you come to Medellin and not to Cartagena or to Costa Rica or to Peru? Um, well, the trip, the timing worked out okay. best with Medellin, but I knew I wanted to come to Colombia okay. because of the women are probably the most beautiful in the world. Okay. So where else would you want to go? Okay, okay. <laughs> Did you have a Latin girlfriend before? Did you have any Italian. contact? Italian. Okay. So dark hair is my is your type. Is my type. Yes. Okay, perfect. That's great. And the social was as well as you expected it, or was it overwhelming? Yes. Were there a lot of women, few women? What would you say? Well, very busy, but I was kind of prepared for that. Yeah. You can never prepare enough for that because you've never been in that kind of situation yeah. before. But um, it'll be easier for the next one, I yeah. think. But um, I would say everything that they tell you at the seminar is completely true. Okay. Everything. Oh, great. So as long as you listen to what they say, you'll be fine. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Did a lot of research. You went to the seminar. Did you watch videos? Did you read? What did you uh -huh. do? I watched the videos on his website. Yeah. And I watched a lot of them, um, kind of in the background while I was doing my work. Yeah. But I, <laughs> I soaked it all in. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad I did. That's so, good. The only thing I didn't do is learn how to speak Spanish as much as I should have. But there's not time for everything. No, so, mm -hmm. and the first step is that you're here, that you meet people, and then when you know that you actually it's your country, your culture, and where you really want to be with somebody, then it's the time to learn the language. It's like now. Now it's a good time <laughs> right. to learn the language. But yeah. you learned, I think, probably something since to the two days. You can say more than yeah. two days ago, no? Much, uh, mucho grande, see? Sí? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> muy bien. <laughs> Very good, Natalia. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Tú ya fuiste dos veces al evento, ¿sí? ¿Eso Con esta alegría, segunda vez. Segunda vez. Uh -huh. ¿Y te gustó? Sí. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo te gustaron los hombres? Altos. ¿Altos? ¿Estaban buenos? ¿Sí? ¿Los hombres? ¿Mío? Sí. So I asked Natalia, she's in the agency for a year more or less and she is the second time in one of our, our events. She really liked it. I asked her how she liked the men yesterday. Mm. The men and she said, yeah, very good. Good men, good to good to the selection this year. Mm. Y como es el hombre que tienes al lado? Perfecto. Perfect. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I asked how is the man at your side and she said perfect. Okay, for so me. It's, oh, perfect for her. So okay, that's a good sign already. And how is it actually meeting somebody from a different culture, having two different languages? How can you, how do you do it? Google Translate, Okay. Mm -hmm. for the most part. And just when you have a connection with somebody, you don't really have to say that much. That's how we feel so yeah. far. Yeah. So. Yo pregunté cómo son de dos culturas diferentes, dos idiomas diferentes, cómo manejan la comunicación. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cómo lo manejan? Pues eh, con el traductor de Google. Sí. Y él, no, y yo hablo un poquito, le entiendo. Sí. Y él dijo, mientras que hay química y uno se entiende bien, no hay que saber ah, tanto okay. idioma tampoco. Perfecto. <laughs> she was saying, yeah, Google Translate, and she speaks some English too, so she can understand what he is saying. And so, and as he said, communication is very easy when the two want. There's a good, good connection, and then everything else is just in the moment and with the technic, uh, yeah, technical innovations we have right now, everything is and so I much easier. I think that's easier. what everybody's looking for, yeah. that type of connection. Perhaps you should consider expanding your horizons. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Check out our website at firstjoystating.com.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Class.